Hiya, Vix here. We're going to do a little grounding exercise. There are so many different grounding techniques that you can use, absolutely loads, loads, loads. But I like the ones that are dead easy to remember. There's nothing worse than when you're feeling stressed, hyper anxious, panicky, etc. Um, having to think of oh, what was that technique I was supposed to do. It's, it's not really an effective tool if you've got a, if it makes you more stressed thinking about it really, is it? So I like kind of quite catchy, gimmicky ones that, um, that I'll just go to. And you might rotate these, there's loads of different ones that you can use, but we're gonna go with five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, maybe that's why I like it. Fuzz bugs I'll go, or thunderbirds I'll go, whatever. Um, <laughs> I only just thought of that. So this is five, four, three, two, one. It's a really popular one. I uh, know lots of people who use it and love it. So um, there's other versions of it. Don't worry if yours is slightly different. If you prefer a different version or you've made up your own, why not? Um, but this is the one we're going to do today. I'll do it along with you. Um, give you enough time to think of them. Don't spend ages thinking about it too hard. Um, I just want you to sort of, the first things that come to your head really because that's what that works well because it's distracting you isn't it so the next time you feel in a bit of a state you can get out of it quickly okay so first of all we're ready <sighs> might as well take a quick breath haven't we? <sighs> okay so five five things you can see so name five things you can see laptop um picture of the world um dog squeaky toy the blinds to outside oh, is that? Mm -hmm. um um, 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 picture of my family. I don't know. Yeah, five. Mm. Okay. <laughs> the next one, probably good to do it on your finger, especially if you can't count like me. And then four. These are four things you can touch and then touch them. So, um, okay. Lip gloss. Um, drinks bottle. Ooh, you put me eye out. Good one. Uh, my head. Um, and here's another squeaky toy. <laughs> four things. Three things you can hear. I can hear the hum of the computer. I can hear TV upstairs. Three. Oh, I just heard a kid screaming outside. It was a nice scream, pleasurable one. Um, so that's your three. Then it's two. Two things you can smell. Um, so let's, let's try and go with pleasurable ones if possible. Um, you might have put on some body lotion or perfume or something today. So I've got a kind of um, cocoa butter type thing, cruelty free of course. So that's one thing. What else can I smell? I suppose I could smell the lip gloss. If you can't smell anything else, then you could um, think of something you like the smell of. So a lot of people it might be like coffee or baked bread or baked cakes um, or jasmine flowers so think of something that you like the smell of if not and then one deep breath in oh that's quite nice wasn't it um sometimes you forget to do these things for yourself when you're teaching them all the time uh, the other one you could do for one is one thing you can taste so again if you haven't particularly got a taste in your mouth you could, it could be something that you really love the taste of. So you could stick with the five senses. Five, so that's just five, four, three, two, one. Give it a try. Why not? You've got nothing to lose, have you? And I shall see you again um, for some more little mindful tips and grounding tips and well-being tips and stuff like that. Maybe even hair tips. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Cheers. Take care. See you all soon. Stay safe and stay well.